This is the motorized meat mixer version 2. If you recall, the first version used a garage door opener motor, and that was a colossal failure. Those motors are not designed to run for long periods of time. But this is a treadmill motor. And it is also reversible, which is important, so you can reverse your paddles now and then. And it is infinitely variable speed because it runs on DC. So this is how I adapted the treadmill motor to run the grinder. If you recall from the previous version, I had 3D printed this sprocket with this shape on the end here. And that interfaces with the, the paddles on the meat mixer. So what I did here was I cut a piece of hardwood and epoxied it inside this pulley and this is the pulley that is attached to the drive roller on the treadmill and I removed the pulley from the treadmill and cut this piece of hardwood in the middle then I 3D printed a similar shape same shape, did a little different base, I got some screw mounting holes there um, so first the hardwood was epoxied in then this was epoxied to the hardwood and I put this in my, I chucked this part in my metal lathe and I used the, the, the center, the live center and use that as a clamp and that also made sure this was perfectly centered on this and I left it there overnight while the epoxy dried and one thing I need to do yet is uh, drill and countersink some epoxy came out the hole so recountersink those and drill those and put some screws in there for extra reinforcement and then I use the the same belt that was on the treadmill so here is the speed controller from the treadmill transformer. This is the sliding potentiometer speed control. And this is the display panel from the treadmill. This has a reset button. I know it's upside down. This is a pretty cool feature. When you first plug it in, you have to set the speed all the way to zero and then reset this. That way, it starts off at zero. If you're on the treadmill, you don't want it starting off really fast. Treadmill uh, potentiometer is at zero. I'll press reset. Of course, I'm being careful not to touch anything. Look at that. Look at that. interesting feature I just discovered if you put some resistance on this thing it slows down first and then it kicks in electronic speed control maintains the speed and when I let go of this it's going to go fast for a second until the speed controller recalibrates check that out I think this is a winner Oh yeah. I see some bullfrog pond deer sausage in the future. Hashtag winning.